Meantime, the nightmare is not over for dozens of local families impacted by devastating flooding in Northwest Charlotte. Well, now the federal government is looking into whether Duke Energy released too much water, causing the Catawba River to overflow right before a devastating storm hit our area in June. And meteorologist John Aarons talked to neighbors along Riverside Drive. Many of them are still living in trailers. For over two months now, Paulette Williams and her two large dogs and her husband there we go. have been crammed up in this one bedroom deluxe camper. We're it's hard. Um, you can't really cook so much, you know, um, don't really have all of our dishes and stuff. So it's paper plates. It's bringing food home. There's not much left of the home she's known for seven years. You can see the baseboards all ripped out, the bathroom removed, and tarp covering up the kitchen. But the Williams family fared better than some of the rest of the homes up and down Riverside Drive. Take a walk with me real quick. You see the front end of that home that was destroyed. Over here, this home, that's totally vacated. You can actually find a camper down the street over here. Now we've covered many flooding events here up and down Riverside Drive over the years, and to a certain extent, the residents here are used to it. But they say with that June storm, Duke gave them no clue as to what was going to happen as the water rushed past this road all the way to the homes on the other side. That kind of breach has left many wondering if Duke was really ready for that storm. And now the federal government will look into whether the power company caused this damage by releasing too much water. Duke sent us a response that said that flooding was a result of a several day historic weather event and their actions comply with federal operational and safety requirements. Paulette just hopes that they're ready for the next big storm. This isn't a one off. I could see this happening again and again in the near future. She's keenly aware that the peak of hurricane season is looming in September. In Northwest Charlotte, meteorologist John Aaron's Channel 9 Eyewitness News.